am Matt Harrison, president of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. Blessed Easter to all of you. St. Paul wrote in Romans chapter 4, Jesus Christ was put to death for our transgressions and raised for our justification. We're here deep in the heart of North St. Louis in a rather challenged neighborhood to visit one of my favorite spots in St. Louis Lutheranism. This is Emmanuel Lutheran Church, founded in 1847, the same year as the Synod. It was a bunch of people that broke off from Dr. Walther's church, Old Trinity, to move a church up here. One thing I really love about Emmanuel is this fantastic mosaic. There's Christ, the Pantocrator, the risen Christ, ruling to all eternity, the orb of the world firmly in his left hand, the blessing, the right hand lifted, ready to bless with forgiveness and life, the cherubs on either side worshiping him, the Alpha and Omega, the Eternal One, a glorious depiction of the Christ indeed. But in this life, we don't always see the glory. In fact, we won't until the last day. Tragically, Emmanuel Lutheran Church, the second oldest Lutheran church west of the Mississippi, left the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod in the terrible and tumultuous times of the 1970s. This old disheveled cemetery and Emmanuel behind me remind me that in this life, the glorious resurrected Christ, his church, is hidden under difficulties, crosses, trials, and divisions. And nevertheless, he is the resurrected one. He is risen. And because he is risen, our sins are forgiven. There's a beautiful passage, several of them, in Francis Pieper's doctrinal text. It's Francis Pieper's Christian Dogmatics. Every Missouri Synod pastor has studied this text for his basic Christian doctrine. Pieper says of the resurrected body that we, like Christ, will have perfect immortality, strength, and beauty because sin, the sole cause of decay, weakness, and ugliness is completely done away with. 1 Corinthians 15. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. The language of heaven will be a celestial tongue once heard by the apostle Paul in paradise, the like of which earth does not know. And finally, on just about the last page of his great doctrinal text, Dr. Pieper says, the gospel of the crucified Christ has never been popular with the world. It's always been this way and will continue to be this way till the end of time. It is a stumbling block to the Jews and foolishness to the Greeks, 1 Corinthians 1. However, Christians do not grow faint, but rise above all these tribulations. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through whom who loved us. If they do not take their eyes off the heavenly inheritance, but follow the example of the apostle who says in 2 Timothy 1, I am not ashamed for I know whom I have believed and I'm persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him until the last day. Blessed Easter to all of you. A blessed Easter knowing that Christ is the God of the living and of the dead and a resurrection is coming. And blessed Easter to you, Dr. Pieper.